Yeah guys, so right now on the tuk tuk journey again. So I was standing by the bus stop and someone stopped me and it was this guy. Say hello. Hi, <laughs> hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how, how, where have you seen me before? Sorry? Where have you seen me? Where did you see me before? I'm watching uh, your uh, YouTube videos, all videos every day I'm watching you are. Uh. On YouTube? So, yeah, YouTube. Wow. But uh, that is a very good uh, and small request. You can give me more videos. Yeah. It's very good. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, he's been seeing me on YouTube and that's how he recognized me. Yeah? And he really appreciates the videos. <laughs> So guys, I've arrived to the tea plantation, got a tuk-tuk from the bottom of the road and this is the view I'm seeing already, look at that, really nice. Hi, hi. Hi. So what we got, welcome, how are you sir? Okay, fine. Yeah. Where I'm, so, from, sir? I'm from England. Okay. And where are you from? I'm Sri Lankan. Oh you're Sri Lankan, are you born? Yes. Are you born? I born. Oh, you're from Hamada? Uh, uh, nice. Hyundai. Uh, All right. <laughs> yeah. Cross, cross, cross. cross, yeah, sure. All right. This is So this is the tea plantation. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I'm walking in the tea plantation, the tea factory. Uh, tea factory, this. It, okay, so this is where all they do the production here guys production today no, sir. no production today feel too okay okay come go to sir. step up hmm? up so yeah sit about. okay no problem thank you so much okay bye bye thank you thank you bye yeah, but I come. Thank you. i'm single oh are you born oh yeah come there and I, okay <laughs> I just wanted to know, I, I wanted to do a tour. Yes sir, you like to do the factory tour or plantation tour? Um, oh, so the two separate tours? Two separate tours. Okay. Uh, factory tour, we are doing explanation tours because factory is not functioning now. Okay. Uh, this one also we are doing. You oh. have to select which one you want. Okay, so if I if I want this one, can I do it now? You can. Okay. Yeah, I like to do the tea plantation, plantation tour. Plantation tour, how yeah. many tickets for you sir? Just one, just one. me, yeah. All right, guys, on an adventure. We're going to be doing the uh, tour here in the tea plantation, and we'll get to see the whole process of how it's grown here on the hills. Now, from what I've been told, the tea grows better with the fresh air. So, hence, a lot of the plantations are on the hill here, and what a better place to do it than Ella. Have a look at how high we are up here. So this is all the tea plantations. Wow. Look at that. Me? Very important. Yeah. Otherwise we cannot uh, talk about yeah, tea. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that should go. Got a dot on my head there. What's the name of this one? Potu. Potu. Yes, I'll come. Okay. Bring it, bring it. Welcome to Wahal Pewata Tea Factory. My name is Saleh. Hello, Saleh. Saleh, how are you all? All right. Okay, good. So this is the green leaf we call. The two leaf and a bud is the required stand that goes for the export quality. Third and the fourth that goes for the local market area. Over and above the two leaf, we have a small bud here. That is the one we call white tea, silver tea, gold tea, all in one. Yeah. and also all the antioxidant minerals you find in the small tip only so here in this factory we make only black tea for that one we are taking the whole leaf into our process so there are about 125 female workers working in the field they start work at seven o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and then goes on picking the very first wing is done at nine the second wing is done at 12 and the third one will happen around four o'clock in the evening there are three women happening in the field site. When it's total together, each plucker will bring 20 kilos per day. Then only she will be entitled for one day's salary. That's about 1,000 rupees. When you convert, it's about two and a half dollars, very small. Wow. So there are many ladies uh, they are in the field. They pluck more than the 20. 
the one they are bringing extra kilos that will be paid more money for them Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why only ladies? Yeah, why only women? Uh, me female, the, when the crop is high, the male also they go and join there. Now of these days, the uh, gens are doing the hardest work. Digging, pollarding, mm -hmm. forking, and manuring, pruning. Mm -hmm. But they also do the hard job and the female also very hard also. When the hot sunshine is there, they mm -hmm. burn their skin and the very heavy showers are coming uh, if it is okay 10 to 15 millimeters mm -hmm. they will continue if it is more than that the management will stop and pay the full amount mm -hmm. okay okay uh, that is happening on the field side next our transport lorry that goes to the field at different timing 9 30 12 30 4 30 wherever the tea leaves wait then kept in the master shed they go yeah, to that no, particular area goes and collect and comes and hand it over to the factory in the factory there are five steps are there so the first one is weathering semi-dry and the second one is rolling process and the third one is oxidation fermentation and the fourth one is the drying process the final one is the packing mm. pure black tea that comes out so there you have to, before the packing is taking place must see without stalk stems fiber and the powder so that is the factory now i'm coming back to the field side again if I'm the plucker, if I go to the plucking field today and then pluck this two leaf and a bud from the field, another seven days later, if you go to the same area, you have another two leaf and a bud, it's available to pick. Mm -hmm. So be there on the seventh day and try to take this one out. If not, what will happen? This will grow, grow higher. They are by the bottom part of this area becoming a very hard material. We won't be able to do a very good manufacture tea. So on the seventh, take that one out mm -hmm. so this is a bush not a tree if you allow the bush to grow up that will grow up to 18 feet in height mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. in a hectare you have 9,000 to 12,000 bushes so every five years time you have to prune the bush keeping one and a half feet from the ground level and cut all the top branches and then now after three months time again nice shoots are coming out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that is how the things are happening here throughout the year Throughout the year, plucking is happening in the month of June, July, August, a very dry season. There is no single drop of rainfall we are receiving, but the quality of the tea manufacture is very, very, very high. So if you are looking uh, to purchase any tea around the world, you look for the date of manufacture, June, July, August, okay? Mm. So now, uh, let the others come, we'll put the basket and you can continue half an hour, we'll be going half an hour and after that you can take nice photos, videos and then... Uh, yeah, Alright, thank you. Hmm. Well that's very interesting isn't it? Yeah. Learn a lot about the tea and how it's harvested here. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of hard work and uh, the women do a lot of work here. They have to do it for about the whole day and they need to get about 20 kilos and um, a day salary is the equivalent of two US dollars. So different payments around the world, guys. Very, very interesting. So they have around 250 women here that does the pluck in here. So that's interesting. So basically, the, there's a basket behind my back and what's interesting is that the band is on my head and there's also something on my waist as well. So that's hell of interesting. So this is how you pick the tea, guys. Wow. So we go up this way? Yes. All right. Uh, so this is what you will do in the tea plantations. Wow. This one? It's okay? Yes, this one. This one. This one. Wow. Whoa. Hey! <laughs> okay, I'm ready to it. So this is how you'll be done. Hey guys. Guys, this is not this is our easy job. You saw how she just did it there. This you break you break them in the machine. Mm -hmm. And you get those uh, antioxidants out allow the oxygen to go and these are oxidation mm -hmm. you can get different time of oxidation different temperatures so 
a good tea always have on the top. This is the most most antioxidant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the good one. Yes, yeah, the good one. And you gain something here, the color and the taste. Everything changes with the temperature. Mm -hmm. Where you have high temperature, about 30 degrees Celsius, will bring the color. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a strong tea mm -hmm. yeah. because the particles become small. Because when the particles small, the pressure is more. Mm -hmm. When the particles are big, ah. the pressure is less. Mm -hmm. So less ah. pressure, less temperature. So the leaves less pressure, less temperature. This is little high pressure. Ah, more pressure? Low, more temperature. But how do you press yeah. things? That's a machine. Ah, machine. You can you can adjust the pressure in the machine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's always that part. Always you? this part you don't need too much of pressure. To break this, mm -hmm. okay. to break this, you have to apply a little more pressure. This is going to be strong. Mm -hmm. so, so this is the, this tea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Strong because the antioxidant. So this tea is only. This is the for the top health. And then later. This is on. for the health. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is for the taste. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, that's mine. You can select what is good for you. Mm -hmm. These are all good teas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. That's for you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh -huh. I like that one. Yeah. That one is all, is, is all of them white tea, black tea, it's all the same. All come from the same plant. All black, tea? black tea? Black tea, this is the black tea. Okay. Alright, this one is a bit white weak. Tea, you don't Not do that anything. very strong. You only pluck this part, sun dry. Ah, okay, so this part? Sun dry. Okay, and red tea? That's what it looks like. Red tea is a different Plant. machine. Machine. You make it powder. Okay. Too much of straw. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can you tell me what is the fruit? Is that orange leaves? Yeah. Orange. No, orange is the color. No, it's tea leaves. Tea leaves? It's tea, it's a orange. Tea plant. Yeah. It's the tea leaves, you know, the name of the plant, camellia. 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 Sinensis. Famous in China, but we brought it here from China to here 155 years ago. Chinese used this for green tea, we use this for black tea. That was decided by British at that time. And how is green tea? British, 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 British did the black tea, Chinese. Green tea, yeah. Green tea. And what is the difference with the green tea? That one. Why is not green tea? It's a green tea, same leaf. So, same leaf, but yeah. green tea. But, but is the process different. Okay. Different recipes. Okay. So, that is for black tea. Okay. This is the black tea, and. Mm -hmm. oh. So, this is a stronger one? Yeah, okay. you are getting slightly stronger. Okay. But is it stronger in uh, strength or stronger strength in, in taste? It's stronger in taste. In taste. But the healthy ones are better than that. Light. Yeah, this one is definitely like stronger. Ones are good, good for the health. The stronger ones are good for the taste. Because you add, add milk. Yes. yes. Add milk and sugar. Lemon, and lemon honey, English, Earl Grey. English tea is that one. That's yes, it. Morning, morning tea. Morning tea. Because you have some caffeine. Okay. Make it. But is the caffeine inside or you need to add it? Here. You have. You have caffeine. You have caffeine, amino acid, the polyphenol, carbohydrate, carotene, mm -hmm. chemicals. So the most caffeine is in that one. Mostly here. Most caffeine, less caffeine. Less caffeine. Okay. This is my yearly consumption. With other properties, have this one. This is the one. It's antioxidant. Yes, more antioxidant. Um, caffeine, but less caffeine. Less caffeine pronounced, but caffeine is there. Yeah, but less. It doesn't come quickly. It mm. comes later with the heat, mm -hmm. the yeah. temperature. Okay. These are low temperatures. Doesn't bring the caffeine activities. Okay. But here, the high temperature activate the caffeine. Okay. Get a little more taste. Mm -hmm. You put milk. Yeah, yeah. So this one, you don't really need milk for this. No, one. no. Okay. You don't need. All right. You can just drink it. Mm -hmm. Much better if you drink without. Without, yeah, yeah. This is good for the health because it has the antioxidant is good for the health. Okay. Which one? Which one? Yeah. Uh, this up? is nice. Okay. Alright. Oh, yes. Let's taste this. 
This is the most stronger one. Yeah, the strong one. Mm. So some people like light, some people like medium, some people like strong. Yeah. This is marketing. Yeah, yeah. You get all the sizes separated. Mm. So let it go to wow. different people. That's the, so this one will definitely taste better with milk. So the this is, yeah. It's better with milk. milk yeah. That's an added flavor. Come. Okay? Uh, it's a mint, yeah, rose added flavor, rose flavor. Yeah. The added flavor. Ah. These are not done in the factories. This is done in the marketing people. Market. And I bought this one. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, you for you to for you to buy only we are having so many types of tea. You can buy anything you like. This is this is outlet, you know. You can buy anything you like. Okay. But here, this is the real tea. Oh, that is added with the flavors. Okay. Do you have uh, any of these here? Yeah, yeah. What? Like made also here in this Yeah, place. yeah. Then you can take something before you go to the foundation to You can buy some. So this is very interesting. We have all the different kinds of tea here. The lighter ones actually, from what he's saying, it's much more healthy to use. Um, and the stronger flavor is more for taste. And that is the one you'll add milk in. And you can see it's much more darker. That's this one. And then the lighter tea is actually more healthy. And this is what the tea leaves look like. So this is very interesting. This is what the tea leaves look like. And they'll pluck the top of it to make the teas, guys. So this is really very interesting. Another thing I learned is um, the added flavor that they use is done by the marketers, not in the factory. The factory just does the tea and then they add the flavors outside. So very interesting. <laughs> so very interesting story about this tea plantation. You got many people who originally came from India, Tamils, that came here during the 1800s to work on the tea plantations that you can see all around me. But many of them, of course, have now been integrated in the Sri Lankan society. And they are known as Sri Lankan Indian Tamils, a lot of them that work on the plantations. So it's very interesting. Even the gentleman that gave the talk was telling me that he originally came from Malaysia. And what happened was after World War II, many of them weren't allowed to go back home. So they stayed in Sri Lanka. And of course, the generations went by and many of them were integrated back into the Sri Lankan society so they speak the local languages and everything like that so very interesting history here in Ella Sri Lanka